Uh, but very on Broadway, like, people got involved. In the film, too. In, the, in the, uh, it, our first screening in Westwood, and women, black, white, yellow, green, and blue, started talking back, and it, it was interesting. We were cutting the film, uh, and Vin Diesel was cutting his film up there, too. So he came by, uh, and his, his sister is his producing partner. So I showed him the scene where Viola starts telling the truth mm. in a big way. And he's sitting like where you are, and his sister was sitting over there, screens up here. And I just started the scene, and I'll just watch this. And she starts going in, and I start hearing, mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and I look, and she was, it's like she left the room. That's right. Mm hmm. <laughs> 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 and she just started building. I mean, there's a, there's a, there, it's so real, I guess, and honest, and, and people get involved. I mean, they, they, people literally sometimes get up and start talking back to the screen. Didn't that happen right. when you were on stage? Too? Oh, yeah, in yeah. the play, forget it. In the it. play, people would... <laughs> oh, you, forget you it. You would hear somebody say, you know she didn't right. him right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> I, I won't give it... I, I can't give it away, but he, right. he walks in with a little one, and a woman went, oh, Denzel. <laughs> <laughs> It's like I want to go, yeah. oh, let me just go do this. <laughs> but, but people get involved, and before they know it, they're, they're in it. I mean, it's a testament to how great a writer August yeah. Wilson is. Mm -hmm. But also, apparently, it was very different, because you were filming, you filmed on location in Pittsburgh. Yeah. So it's quite different from an L.A. location or a New York location. It was the best, because we were right there where he lives. We were right there where, where August Wilson lived, I mean. We were right there where a lot of people got involved. There was a man that, that lived behind us, Mr. Greenlee. He couldn't hear well. And he would come out every day and ask if I wanted coffee during the scene or any time. <laughs> <laughs> Denzel, hey, well, we're shooting now. Huh? <laughs> we're shooting now, Mr. Greenlee. You want some coffee? <laughs> no, nah, we're going to go ahead and shoot. Huh? <laughs> and then he's like, well, go on, make the movie. Go on, make the movie. I'll be in the house. <laughs> he, he just come out and he'd, he'd get a chair and sit like he's watching a movie. <laughs> he's like he's watching the movie. Like the movie's in his backyard. Yeah, I'm not gonna see it. I've seen it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it was sweet. I did not mean to cut you off. Yeah, no, no, no. We had a screening in 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 Pittsburgh, and he came in a suit, tie, and mm -hmm. and just proud. And he still couldn't hear us. He had a guy yeah. whispering yeah. in his ear, <laughs> telling him what we were saying, you know. But he was so proud. He was he was. Well, he wasn't in the movie, but. But he was a part of it. It was like it. he made it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah he really directed it. Yeah. Yeah.